In this video, I'm going to explain how Camplace works. That means how we can build a well model, how we can run the simulation and how we can see the results. Uh, Camplace, as you have seen through the product brochure that it is used for placement calculation, acid placement calculation, acid placement optimization, stimulation design and optimization. So if you want to perform these uh, uh, these uh, activities, simulations, then you just need to build your model, run your simulation and see the results. So here in this video, I'll explain how we can build a model. Uh, you can see if there is no projects, then only one button is here only. But once a project is imported or created, then three button will appear. So what I can do is that to create a project, new project, I can click this button. Or if you have an existing project, then you can just open existing project by open project. For new users, we recommend that you open existing project, go through it, modify it, run simulation, see results. And once that is clear, then you can go and create your own projects. So let's say I will create an existing project. All the projects that is created in Camplace are saved in C drive in a folder called Camplace data folder. So I will go to this Camplace data folder. I will select one of the case, all the cases that is created, that is saved with the name, so dot came, you know. So you don't need to go inside this folder. You just select this case and click open. And then your project will be imported. And then you set this as a directive case. If you select yes, then it is the project has been imported. Now you can see there are three buttons. Also, you can see if the case has been imported uh, properly, then you can go in result pane Earlier it was empty, but now you can see plot button is there. So that means case has been imported. Now what we could do is that you can modify or see the inputs. So to modify inputs or see the inputs, you can click edit project from here or from here. So let's say I click this one. Uh, just to clear, uh, there are five pages on input pane. Uh, first page is saying about project information. Second, just uh, about this pop-up windows, you know, like this one, these windows are appearing. Just select keep going at yes. Uh, uh, if you don't understand anything, just click yes. So anyway, so there are five. First is project information. Second is downhole complexity where you put uh, the downhole well uh, reservoir properties like permanent porosity. <coughs> Third is a squeeze design where you feed in how the injection was done fourth is fluid properties of reservoir fluid properties and fifth is what sort of sensitivity you want to do on pump rate or viscosity so i will go through each page and explain how the inputs and what are the inputs we are taking so let's go with the first uh, project information page here you feed in your case name field name and other information these are too important because important in a way that these are that with this name the project is created so it required to provide these two information and then you can go to the next page here you can feed in the downhole complexity that means well diameter at what depth the injection was done if it was bullheading then just feed in the zero zero depth if it is coil tubing then choose at what depth the injection was done then specify your depth then you just specify your number of zones or sub layers or layers Either it's a long perforation, if you want to subdivide this into small, small zones, you can do it. Or if you have different segmented in a perforation, then also you can choose the number of zones you choose. Let's say in this case, it was 2000 long perforation and we subdivided that into 22 small, small sub zones. So we choose number of 22 zones. We, here you can select. Once you select, then that many of rows row will be created. You can see the 22 layers. For each zone, you can specify porosity, permeability, perforation start depth, perforation end depth, zonal pressure, TVD, and pre-stimulation scale. So you can specify that. You don't need to go to the advanced uh, section. You just keep it as it is, and then go to the next pane. Then you select again, and go to the squeeze design page. Here you can say select how many stages of injection it was done so in this case it was 10 set of injection so you can select number of stages and for each is injection stages you can specify was that a main injection pre-flush overflush or diverter what was the 
one first an entry pressure if you know feed in otherwise keep it zero in these two columns I, this is bhp and this is injection pressure so either one of them you require so in this case it was injection pressure was known so we specify that one then injection rate injection volume injection concentration viscosity uh, of the injected fluid these for for each injection stages we have specified remember these four columns are uh, taken from the core flood lab uh, based on if it is a uh, you know in carbonate reservoirs these are uh, coming primarily from core flood uh, from the wormhole profile out of these four this is this is interstitial velocity and this is this purple to break through for each stage you can uh, find out this one also acid this is acid density and this is acid dissolving bound so these parameters you can feed in so for all the stages uh, you know and then you, this pan is done and then you can go to here and this space and you can specify reservoir fluid properties if it is oil then select oil and then it's viscosity and density if it is a water select water it's viscosity and density remember the model is two phase flow model so you can select any one of the reservoir fluid and then the output uh, required that means what sort of sensitivity you want to do do you want to do a sensitivity on pump rate then you can choose different pump rate and you know the specified pump rates and you know tell that these are the pump rate i want to see that if by changing this pump rate how the placement will change or similarly you can do on viscosity sensitivity on viscosity or if it is a, a non-newtonian diverters some gel or uh, cross link um, uh, gels then you can choose their properties but these are again these properties k and n parameters for non-newtonian fluids that come from core flood so for the time being we'll uh, you know we will not choose either viscosity impact or uh, non-newtonian fluid impact we just see injection fluid uh, pump uh, injection rate impact and once that is selected then you just go and save your projects see here the now finish button is not active but once you save a project the finish button become active you can see now it's active so now you can to run the simulation all you need to do is that click finish button and now it's the data is saving and then the simulation will start automatically so let's say after this the simulation has started and now it's completed once it's completed 100 percent that means simulation is done and then you are ready to see the results so here you can go to the result pane you can you know open this you can see there are four sort of results you can see you can see placement modeling that means the percentage volume in different layers you can see penetration length in different layers you can see productivity index well productivity and you can see skin factor post simulation skin factor um, in different layers this is a type of uh, plot what sort of plot you want to see either it's a bar chart or line chart so to see the plots i just select we will select first the, this from this this window we need to open bar chart once that is open then you select type of plots and you can choose any one of them and then you see what sort of uh, placement i want to see so in placement modeling there are two basic sub sub buttons one is a base case and another is a sensitivity case so either it was sensitivity on a viscosity or diverter or injection that you can choose to sue the sensitivity or if you want to see that just the base case where there was no sensitivity and uh, you know, considered so let's say i'll see the base case placement so here you can see percentage volume in different layers we just right if you want to see a different layers what is the penetration length you can select this one then you can see penetration length in different layers if you want to see the post stimulation scheme then you can also see post stimulation in screen in different layers if you want to see the sensitivity of injection rate because we choose 10 50 7 50 and 75 bmp uh, pump rates and wanted to see the sensitivity so i selected this one so you can see how by changing pump rate or the placement is changing in different layers similarly if you want to see the skin you can see the skin in different cases or if you want to see penetration in different cases right so this is the way we can basically start the model buildings doing simulation runnings 
the same simulation results and as the beginning and then afterward you, once you are comfortable then you can start creating your own projects and building your model running simulation etc right 